So today we're gonna do the cheapest team possible. The other day I did the most expensive team and now I can't spend any money, none at all. Well, just a little bit. So this is kind of a playoff of what the Athletics did this offseason where they really didn't spend any money signing new players. Essentially they ran with the same exact roster that they had the previous season or they just brought in players on really, really cheap deals. I think when it comes to their MLB squad, they didn't add any like sort of salary to the team. It was $0 spent in the off season. So with that in mind, I'm going to try to beat their salary for the cheapest salary possible, which currently sits at 15 mil. So if you're doing some quick math, 15 divided by 26 is sitting around 0.5, which is 500,000 that I'm gonna be able to spend on average on every single player. That's not a lot of money. And when you think of players like Harper, Trout, and all these other names that are getting these crazy contracts, I can't even spend a million dollars on a player. So with the Athletics, I thought, you know what? The Athletics, I feel like I've done a rebuild with them, Moneyball, and a bunch of other things throughout the season. Let's switch it up. Let's pick a team that I think is gonna be a little fun to do this challenge with, and that's the Orioles. And I was looking at their team, not a lot of big contracts, which is awesome for me, but also they've got some players that I could trade that have some value that could bring in some, maybe some young prospects to help build this team around. So with that in mind, let's build the cheapest team possible. All right, so for this challenge, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add up uh, the budget every single time, like every single year. The issue is I need to get it down to 15 mil the athletics currently are just above 15 mil for their 26 man roster which is absolutely crazy to think about <sighs> oh boy all right so how how can i do this man i'm gonna have to get rid of everybody that's like a million besides like maybe john means if i can keep john means in here the pitching rotation at least stands a chance but if i can't then we're in a little bit of trouble so i guess let's just try to find some sort of cheap players like what kind of cheap players are out there like i said on average 500k so we've got a couple names like stephen kwan could be good for a couple seasons mackenzie gore would be solid alec thomas could i get michael conforto on a cheap deal because if that's possible i'll do it you know i think brendan donovan could be pretty good who else there's got to be some others maybe like riley green george kirby and who else here chaz Rowe, maybe nolan gorman potentially so there are a couple names that i'm looking at it and i'm going they actually might not be too bad like i feel like we could we could work with them so i'm gonna go make some trades i'm gonna see if i can get any players on cheaper deals than what we currently have let's see what we can do all right first pick up the durantula i mean for 70k which i i, I know in real life can't be the real deal but i, I feel like I gotta do it, right? That's too good to pass up. All right, Stephen Kwan's the next one. I have to get rid of Voth, Knight, and Santander. A little bit more than I really wanted to give up, but you know what? I do have to shed some money, so I guess it works. And realistically, I'm just going through this and I'm trying to find what kind of players I can get. So if I can pick up some of these guys, that would be awesome. Taylor Ward, I that's that, yeah, get in the team. Um, Who am I gonna have to give up? To make this possible maybe like austin hayes austin hayes recently though was pretty decent in a rebuild that we did so i don't necessarily want to get rid of him i'm trying to keep some of these guys that we have that are close to like the 700k mark because i feel like with some of these smaller salaries we might be able to sneak them into the team it'll be tough but i feel like may maybe we can do it so let me see can i get rid of like maybe like him ah, there's got to be somebody else here like Maybe a B potential player that'll give me this this trade. There's got to be someone here. Maybe like Dylan Beavers, DJ Stewart, uh, Newstrom. A lot of teams want Newstrom for some reason. I'm not probably not, I'm probably not going to use them. So for Taylor Ward, I'll make that deal. All right, I'm gonna pick up Brandon Hughes as a lefty again. Super cheap deal, and I'm I'm starting to find some deals where I'm like, you know what, this might not be too difficult. When the off season comes, we might be in a little bit of trouble because I'm not sure how I'm gonna be able to afford these contracts, especially because players are gonna want more money, but we'll we'll figure it out when that time comes. So I'm still trying to figure out certain trades and who we can keep and who we're not gonna be able to keep. I feel like uh, Brett Phillips is a good player to move in this trade right here. And then I also can get rid of someone like, maybe like Lewis Head, I'm not gonna use him and then do that. Boom, there we go, there's a new infielder. And I, like I said, I feel like we're, we're doing pretty well. So like, we'll go like this. He can slot in. 
We'll throw him in for now. He can come in and help us out. Probably second base. Bench is looking a little weak. Pitching, I know for sure, is looking a little weak. If I could get like one more like decent bat, and then pitching wise, I know I'm going to have to sort this out. Like the bullpen actually not bad. Like I'm actually pretty happy with this. I would like to add an arm if I could do that. I did sign somebody. Where are they? I signed somebody. Where Where did they go? Where did they go? There he is. Kim. Kim is in the team uh, a little bit more than I wanted to. 800K. That was the only I had to give him a two year deal. That was the only way he would sign for that little money. And it does give us at least another starter that we can like kind of work with. I would like a starter. I would like a long reliever and at least one more bullpen arm along with a bat. I don't even know if I'm in budget. Like that's kind of another thing. I feel like I'm probably still over, but like I'm looking, this is going to be tough. Like I, I can't sign Conforto. I tried to sign him. There's a couple of other uh, free agent players. I tried to sign. I can't do it. They want too much money. Like, I say this might be easy, but realistically, I don't think it's going to be. I think this one's going to be pretty tough. Like, I don't even think I can sign Sanga. I can. I'm signing Sanga. He's our long reliever. I totally forgot he doesn't want that much money, which makes me think there's a couple. Hold on. There's a couple other, like, KBO type players that are in this roster that, hold on. Where is he a second baseman or is he just not in the roster anymore? That That also could be a thing where he's just not on the roster anymore i don't think he's on the roster anymore which is a huge mm, disappointment dang there was one that had like crazy power that i think got taken off the roster oh that okay so everything i just said doesn't matter because it's it's not gonna happen so all right i guess we make some more trades all right i'm gonna piss blah, 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 blah. i'm gonna pick up josh young of the rangers a potential I'm kind of hoping he works out for us. I don't know if he's going to start, but we might be able to sneak him into the team. I think that's it for position players. I really do need some bullpen help and also starters, which I, I don't even think it's possible to get a good starter with the kind of money that we're going to spend. So like what's Mackenzie Gore at money wise? 70K. If I can make this deal possible, like some. Oh, OK. All right. This is this is definitely possible then. OK, so let's give up. We'll give up one of these guys. I don't really want to. I think Gunnar Henderson did pop off when he got called up this year. But I'm looking at I gotta keep him. I can't I can't get rid of him. Maybe like maybe get rid of one of these guys. And then I know this is gonna piss some people off. But I need pitching. And DL Hall always does poorly in rebuild. So boom, there's the trade. I can also get somebody else. Do you have anybody else that I could use? doesn't really look like it joey manessas who in real life was crazy good this year that could be an impact bat off the bench deep potential i know i see that but if he can at least give me like one season of like somewhat decent ball or maybe like cj abrams i can almost get cj abrams what if i take out manessas can i get okay oh we hold on i'm gonna see if i can make this possible um so any of our Jackson holidays just drafted, but like, I feel like this is just like, you got to take it, right? Like, why wouldn't you take this trade? I'm looking at the other prospects to kind of see what we're looking at here. I feel like, I feel like not taking that trade is really dumb. I, I do. I do feel like that's really dumb. So I got to do it. I got to do it. There's two bats. Uh, didn't need it or a pitcher and a bat. I did I did need the pitcher though. So Mackenzie Gore will slot in over Bradish. Bradish will probably be sent down. And then I just need I need that bullpen arm. And I think we're in business, which honestly, we're going to suck, but it's a lot better than I anticipated. So, let's see what do we got here. I I can't sign any of these guys. I've tried. I've tried. It's super unfortunate. I just can't sign any of them. I don't want Diaz. Ah, oh, man. Options are pretty low. Uh, uh, what about closers? Can I get a closer? Maybe like a starter with low stamina or just like a starter in general and throw them out there. Oh boy. Um, can I get like petite for a season? How much does he want? Too much. I can't do it. I don't even, th I think I'm still going to be over budget either way. I think John means is going to have to be traded. So I think we just go after, I don't know. All these guys, I just feel like aren't going to do well. I think that's going to be a big issue. I just don't 
I really don't think they're going to do well. <sighs> There's usually at least like one or two that I like, I feel like maybe. Uh, um, all right, let's get rid of someone that I just feel like isn't going to do well. Let's get rid of him. And then also let's get rid of maybe like a starter that just like makes a little bit too much. Maybe like him. Oh, oh, let's let's start picking up some players then. We'll pick up Davich while we're here and we'll take those two. Okay, let me rearrange the team. All right, so I'm currently at 12 and a half million. Um, yeah, honestly, I could I could go out and do a little bit more. I can I can go and pick up a player that's a little bit higher in terms of money. I, I believe I'm correct on this one. So this is four, 4.7. And then this right here is like 1.4. No, that would not be right. That'd be two mil right here. So we're at 4.7. Hold on, I'm, I'm messing that up. It'd be 200K. Either my math trying to explain this is gonna be terrible. I've broken it down already. I'm at like 13 mil. We'll, We'll, we'll say 13 mil. It's like 12 and a half. We'll say 13 mil. I got two mil to play with or two and a half mil. Either way, I'm feeling pretty good about it. I just don't know, like, realistically, where should I put the money? And realistically, who could I go out and get? So, yeah, two mil, probably a pitcher, right? That's probably the, the smart pickup. And there are some good pitchers. Ooh, okay. I, I feel like pitcher is probably the move. Can I get Alec Manoa some way, shape, or form? I don't think I'm going to. So I'm looking at it. I think bullpen, we can we can sneakily get by with this one. Like it's gonna be close. I think some of these guys are gonna suck, but I think just maybe we'll be able to work with what we've got going on. It's the rotation I'm a little worried about. I think I think we could definitely do a little bit better with the rotation. So with that in mind, let me go find a player. All right. School ball. That's my pitcher. I know I have to get rid of Grayson Rodriguez, but again, another one of those players that just doesn't do well in franchise. I don't know what it is. He just, he doesn't. I, it, it just sucks. It sucks that that's the case. So that in mind, I need some position players now. Um, catcher's looking a little weak. And um, so I'm just going to, I'm going to call up a, like a 60 ish move. Um, yeah, that's, that's going to suck off the bench, but that's what's going to have to happen. And I think Nevin is going to be the guy that gets called up. I'm trying to see. Oh, we've got Young. We've got Young that can do this. Okay, perfect. So now I think Scooball's contract is what? 700K. So it, it was well under the two mil anyways. So like, I feel like we're pretty, pretty good. We're still within budget. If anything, we just do 700K for Nottingham. So basically swapped out Scooball for Nottingham. We still have some money to play with. So that really didn't change anything. So I, I, I guess I could still go out and spend some money. I've got two mil to spend. We, I maybe maybe use a bat. Let me see here. Is there anybody that I'm like, ooh, let's add them to the team. That'll definitely help us out. Not really. Not really. Um, yeah, because Conforto I know wants more than what I can afford. And none of these pitchers I'm really interested in. Perez, what does Perez want? Two, three mil. All right. Here's the team, the cheapest team possible, currently sitting at twelve and a half million dollars. Yeah, so I mean, there it is in all its glory, twelve and a half million dollars. I mean, I'll double check. I'll put the money on screen so you guys can see it. But yeah, that's that's the team. The fact that I was able to put together this squad, I, I feel pretty good about it. Pretty good. Somehow did it, but we did it. Yeah, I. I don't think this team's going to be good. <laughs> I really don't. I don't think it is at all, but we'll have to wait and see. Like we could get lucky. We could just have a crazy season and do really well. So let's see what happens. So we made the postseason as a wild card team. That's a success in my book. I took the cheapest team possible in baseball. And there we go. We made the postseason 89 and 73. We're taking on the Yankees. Not a favorable outcome. Um, yeah. Oh, wow. We actually finished above the Yankees. Okay. Okay. I'm kind of interested to see where we rank as a team for some of these things. Okay. So we're the Orioles. Let's see. I went to the bottom thinking we were going to be down there, but we're a postseason team. We're 13th in batting average for runs. We are, where are we? We're, oh, we're a little low for runs 22nd. So not the best, not the best at all. So that makes me think we're kind of like a bad team offensively. 
but hits in the so kind of like middle of the road from what i'm seeing here home runs i'm assuming we're kind of towards the bottom 29th rbis we are 22nd Ugh. all right so what about pitching is that is that what took us to the next level that what won us games has to be third for pitching okay so there we go shutouts were we kind of up there no we weren't 17th okay saves we were fourth blown saves the least in baseball which is awesome not allowing a lot of hits not allowing a lot of runs so that definitely shows that pitching is what carried us league leaders we had the most triples so okay so yeah it definitely shows that pitching carried this team like offensively middle of the road to kind of like low average but hey I'll, I'm, I'm happy with it we were able to get the job done really able to get the job done awards a gold glove I'll take it, I guess. Nothing too special there. So what else we got going on here with this team? Uh, nothing. Nothing like even close either from what I've seen. No rookies of the year. Okay. All right. So I'm assuming this got jumbled up a little bit. I'll I'll take a quick peek at this. So Bradish came up so that offensively someone got sent down and that somebody was CJ Abrams. That was it. Oh, I should have called up DJ Stewart. It looks like he did did not get called up okay so yeah okay so yeah cj abrams is really the only one that got sent down so let's call him back up i think i think he was the only one that got am i am i missing anybody man dj stewart would have been a good bat to have instead of like what's his name bannon how did bannon do honestly not bad though so i'll, I'll keep him and then we'll send down bradish even though he wasn't he wasn't too bad in the appearances that he had so sanga I know I've been getting him a lot recently in rebuilds, but as a long reliever, he's killing it. I got to keep going with him. Dabovich didn't pitch. Who pitched instead? Who? Bradish had 19 innings. Did I? Aiken was also up. Okay, so am I? Am I missing something? Did I not have Dabovich up? I thought I had Dabovich up. Okay, that's fine. All right. Uh, Hughes was really good. Um, Strifeller? Strife? Strifeller? Yeah, Strifeller. Good. Also, never picked it. I don't think I've picked up this guy before. Kind of a beast. Bautista was good. Dylan Tate, unbelievable. And the Durantula, love to see it. And then when we take a look at our starters, we've got John Means. We all know he's good. Tyler Wells, happy with that. Scooball, Gore, and Kwon Young Kim talk about just carrying the team offensively like i said we probably had some some players who struggled you know vavra only 66 at bats not ideal numbers at all um same thing with mateo but 13 stolen ba bases off the bench okay handley backup catcher really wasn't expecting like anything from him yeah uh young struggled and then bannon seven at bats love to see it all right top of the lineup we've got urias who was okay 25 home runs. I'll definitely take that. I'll take that for sure. Um, okay. Yeah. It just looks like our offense was okay. Even Cedric Mullins really, really didn't do much offensively. Yeah. We just kind of like Taylor Ward looks like our best offensive player, which is, uh, yeah. Kwon Young Kim got on base. Good average. Okay. So that's good to see. But outside of that, uh, okay, so I mean, since this is going to probably be our one and done game when it comes to the postseason, let's just hop into it. Let's see what happens. I mean, we could get lucky. You know, we do maybe have a little bit of home field advantage. John Means, who is the best pitcher in franchise, he could, you know, maybe keep the Yankees quiet. And if we can just sneak a run or two, we might be in business. So the, the, the cheapest team in baseball, what can we do? Double play? I mean, John Means is pitching his heart out. This is our chance. And we got greedy. We could have had bases loaded with one out. Sack fly. Oh, Mike Stanton hits a home run. All right, this is our chance again. Taylor Ward, three-run home run. We're in business. We're making it a two-run game. Runners on the corners. Had a chance to extend the lead. Just couldn't do it. Just couldn't do it. A triple for Donovan. Um, probably should sack fly here. Bring in the run. Extend that lead. And, you know not let that happen Ooh, is john means yeah john means is is doing that yeah that that was yeah uh... okay all right um well 
it was fun while it lasted and it was cool you know i thought maybe we had a chance and i was incorrect i was definitely wrong in that situation they finally go to the bullpen i don't think it's gonna matter nine runs man that is not what you want to see and so it comes down to lucas lukey or lucky i think it's lucky versus our team and man mr stanton had to ruin it for us but you know what i'm pretty happy with that to make the postseason with a team that costs less than 15 million dollars to put together that, that's that's an achievement in my book to think that i'm, I'm gonna look it up i want to see the payrolls of the playoff team so you have the Met, the mets and yeah okay the mets the dodgers the yankees the phillies the padres and you've got the braves astros the jays the cardinals i'm trying to see who else here the mariners and the guardians the guardians are the lowest and theirs is at 56 million for their 26 man roster and the orioles just missed out as well and theirs was a really low payroll so i feel like that's a win to take that sort of team to the postseason i mean hey i'll take it i hope you enjoyed today's video I know we didn't win, but the challenge was just at least making the postseason, and we did that. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to the channel for new and enjoy the content. And of course, check out this video. I'm recommending it. I hope you do enjoy it. Go check it out. I think you will. That's about it. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.